Okay, I intend to demonstrate how to create database objects from a local database into a database in the Oracle Cloud. I have created an autonomous transaction processing database called My Oracle ADB in the Oracle Cloud, and I also have a local database. So this is my local database. The schema is Hemant, and there's a schema called Hemant in the cloud as well. So let me first connect to my local database and demonstrate what objects I have. So I have a few objects here, one procedure, two tables, and one view. And in the remote database, let's see what objects I have. I have only one table, which is a completely different table, my employees, which does not, which is not my local database. So what I want to do is, copy these four objects into the remote database. Remember, local database is here. That's my local one, and this is in the Oracle Cloud. So I use this product feature in SQL Developer called Database Copy. I select my source, that is my local, and my destination is the ADB database in the cloud. I can specify what I want to copy, whether it is full schema or table space or specific objects. So here I specify the objects is my choice. I'm going to copy the DDL. I'm not bothered about the storage partitioning and table space parameters because I'm going to use all the defaults which are in the Oracle Cloud. When you create a database in the Oracle Cloud and you're putting objects, you should not need to worry about table spaces in the Oracle Autonomous Database. I want to copy my data and since the objects don't exist, I don't need to truncate them before copying. So these are my copy options. Next, I specify what type of objects. These are all the standard object types. I actually have one view, one table, and one procedure, but I'm just gonna select all of them here. Then I can do a lookup for all the objects that I have. I select all four objects. You can see that this is a procedure, the first one, process factory data, and my objects VW is a view. Next, for the factory data, I can specify the columns that I want. In this case, I want all three columns, which is fine. For the objects list, this is actually a copy of DBA objects. I don't need all the columns in, uh, in my test data in the Oracle Cloud, so I'm just gonna deselect the columns that I don't want. So these are the only columns, owner up to generated from this table called objects list. So you can see here that it specifies the columns. Now for the view, of course, I want all the columns that are dependent on them. So I can just exclude everything else again. So these are the columns in the view as well. So this is my summary. I'm copying from 19C local database to ADB. What are my cop object options? I'm copying the objects. DDL option, I don't want to replace existing ones because I'm creating new objects in the ADB database. This is where I can see all the objects that I'm creating. I'm copying data. I don't need to truncate before the copy and I can again specify the, uh, identify which are the actual objects that I'm going to copy. So when I do a finish, it's going to start the, uh, the copy. Now let me just run this in the background. Okay, just before I run this in the background, let me show you, it's creating the table and the view. You can see the view is created after the table. And now it says moving data, it's actually copying data. Copy is called moving data. Let me just do a count here. Objects list. So I have 42,000 rows, 48,000 rows here. Let me see how many rows I have in the 
remote database remember the table got created first but it has not been populated yet the copy job I've moved to the background let me just check the factory data table then factory data I have 75 4000 rows okay let's see how many I have got across so I have got 72,000 rows so you can see it is actually committing the rows in batches it doesn't commit at the end of the full load it is committing the rows in batches okay let me go back to my local database and my objects list is 48,000 rows and then I go here and I'm going to count on the remote database and this count hasn't been refreshed yet just let me try it again so sometimes it just doesn't respond so my remote database is not responding okay now it's responding now it's running the count so it takes some time when you're using the free uh, autonomous database it pro you can't rely on performance so performance of my free ATP da database is not so good but yes I can see there are 7000 rows inserted I'm running the count again it's going to take some time 8500 rows remember locally I have 48,000 rows and in my remote database I have so far 8500 rows so it's running account again 11,500 so far so you can see that uh, rows are populated in batches the copy job is actually can be moved to run in the background at the end of the entire copy job I will get a report showing what objects were created what are the DDL statements that were used to create those objects and uh, there will be a comprehensive report generated at the end let me just query this objects list again so I have a low performance uh, connection to my ATP database because I'm using the free Oracle database and I'm copying all the rows over the network from my desktop to Oracle and this database is in the US so there's a bit of network latency as well to copy all those 28,000 rows it's almost completed we'll see at the end of the execution we will get a report Forty-eight thousand two hundred sixty-four rows. So come back here. Factory data was populated before objects list, so I can see factory data. It's a, it's a number of rows is higher, but the actual row size is much smaller for factory data. So factory data did not take long to copy. 
can see that yes, 72,000 rows in factory data. Sorry. And 48,000 in objects list locally. Let's see. Okay, so the report got generated. Let me just verify the count here. 40,000 and this is the report. So it says I'm copying from my local database to an ADB database. This is the name of the connection which I've defined here in my connect string. So that's what it should be. It doesn't really give you the details of the database. It tells you what connection you have used in SQL Developer. So I had specified all objects, but the only objects relevant were these two tables, this view, indexes, triggers if any, and one stored procedure. Then if you scroll down, you can see the create statement for the table and the objects list you can see this is the objects list you can see that the, it's showing all the columns and this this is the view it's showing you all the columns of the view and it shows you how long it took to copy the data across it also shows me the DDL for the procedure and the view here. Now if I were to describe the tables here, these are all the columns, my local database and in my remote database you can see the columns are all the same. It creates the columns, but the data that is copied is only up to the column I have specified. So, for example, if I say where, uh, let's pick something. So you can see you know, it's all the rows, all the columns. And then if I go here, so you can see because I did not specify the Oracle maintained column to be included in my copy. I have 48,000 rows where it is not null, but in the remote database, the column exists, but data is not populated. So the data is, is null for that column. So that is why when I specified the columns that I want to copy, it doesn't mean the column will be excluded from the table definition. You can see here the DDL includes all the columns, but the columns which I excluded did not get copied. So the data for those columns did not get copied. Unfortunately, it doesn't show you that information here. That was only in the selection that I did here. Database copy, select from local, select to target. Then I just specify the table. Let me just look up all the tables. I'll just show you again, for example, if I were just to copy objects list. Then this is where I selected specific columns and excluded the data for the other columns. So the table DDL remains the same, but the data is as I, as I specified in this column list. Whichever column I did not select from secondary onwards is not populated. Okay, so that, and then once you select all this, you can go to summary and gives you a summary before you start the copy. And at the end of the copy, it gives you a report saying what objects were copied, tables, triggers, indexes, procedure, and view. Let's, let's do one more thing. Let's see.
So you can see here, these are the tables that were created factory data, objects list, and the view was created after the table, objects list, and the procedure was created after the table. It is not so apparent here, but you can see the view is listed after table and procedure is listed after data objects. Data objects are tables, views, indexes, and procedures are code objects. So that is how you select copy data from a local database. This is my local database. You can see it's a local database and you copy it into a Oracle Cloud database.